It's a beautiful morning. You can see the frost is on the ground. And in another chapter of Truth is Much Stranger than Fiction, I got an email yesterday from our angel investor who is going to underwrite the cost uh, of the Trash TV pilot. And they basically told me in the email, uh, we've had a hard year. The money that we promised you is uh, gone. Uh, we're very, very sorry. The crew arrives in a few days and we begin shooting in a few days. So, as with all great, great stories, now we have to figure out what to do. My initial impulse was, you might think, to just call everybody and cancel everything, but that's just, that's simply not how I roll. Um, being Steve Trash for over 30 years, I've had lots of people not really understand what I was trying to accomplish and what I was trying to do. So I sort of absorbed the information that all of that money was not there anymore. And I realized that um, I have the money. I, I have the money. My, my mom, uh, my mom died in uh, March, which now is what, know, six months ago or so. And I realized that I can take that inheritance money and it's a lot of money to put into a show, a pilot. And I'm gonna take all of that money and that's what we're gonna do. We're going to make a television show uh, with Betty and Bo's money. It's a pilot, so it can't possibly make its own money back, but I have faith in the project. I have faith that children will enjoy the show. I have faith that it will be picked up and you have to pay to play. Uh, my partners in Los Angeles said, look, what we're bringing our connections to this partnership. We are partners. What you have to bring is a representation of what you can do. You bring that to us and we will do our best to make it happen. So I had an angel investor who really believed in this project. Uh, they absolutely 100% believed, but you can't, you can't get blood from a turnip. They, they just simply don't have the money. So uh, we're going to let uh, let this be uh, Betty and Bo's legacy, <laughs> the children's television show. I've gotten to Dash Studio, and I'm going to check to see if the studio looks any different now that the financial arrangements have changed, and it's going to be the money my mom left me that pays for all of it. <laughs> Let's look around. Does it look any different? Mm, actually, no, not really. There is much, much, much more financial pressure on me, but uh, it's not the first time I've had pressure to succeed and make sure that the money I've invested pays off, and I'm sure it won't be the last. So we're going to work today to make sure that this is the best kids' magic television show anyone's ever seen, and we'll just simply uh, go from there. The steps. Nice color. The green screen color. We worked in the studio um, shooting science videos for kids using the green screen. The green screen is a it's a technology that you can use to key out a particular color. This color green seems to be really, really easily keyable. So basically you tell the editing software to take that color out of the picture and replace it with a different picture. So it's called chroma keying. 
green screening. Um, in this case, we're not going to be green screening anything. We're just matching the colors, which somewhat looks uniform. Kind of lucky for me because I really love the color green, being an eco guy. Get it on the inside there. If you get a chance, check out the Steve Trash Science videos. I'm really proud of them. They're free. Teachers can download them for free. And we even have review questions that you can print. You can download and print for grades one through five. Let's see, what subjects did we cover? Uh, we covered pollution. We covered reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, we covered uh, renewable versus non-renewable resources. And we covered the water cycle. All really important parts of nature. And one of the things that drives me is uh, making sure the children get good information about how the natural world works. I've always thought that if you give kids good information, they can make whatever sort of political decisions need to be made, but they need good information. They need to understand how the natural world works because people are a part of the natural world. They can't be separated. We think we're separate from the natural world, but we're not. That's simply an illusion. See, I'm a magician. I understand illusions pretty, pretty well. And it is an illusion to believe that we are separate from the natural world. So I spend a lot of time showing kids how they're actually connected to the natural world um, through silly, silly stuff, magic tricks, through the Steve Trash Science videos. And we shot those videos here, Dash Studios. I edited them myself. I'm, I'm only an okay editor, but I think those turned out pretty pretty well. I'm pretty proud of them, considering the limited budget that I had to make it. You know, I think we did okay. I actually worked up a sweat, even as cold as it is in here. So I changed back to my ball cap, finishing this up. I remember helping paint and build sets for plays when I was a kid. Where I grew up here in Florence, has a really strong tradition of community theater and it's hard to calculate how much that exposure to the stage and to, to the theater world actually meant to my life. It showed me very early on that I could be entertaining and that I could, I could share a little magic with people on the stage. You know, some things uh, you have to work for and some things that you just have them. Like, I have a, have a gift um, to connect with kids, and I've had it for my whole life. I can be in my Steve Trash costume or not, and, and kids are they're just drawn to me. And for the longest time, I thought I could, I could do something with that gift, that I could, I could create something that would be um, uh, meaningful and magical for kids. And... That's what we've been trying to do with this trash TV show. I'm, I'm trying to create something that's that's fun, that's magical, that has that also has some meaning to it. Everybody seems so mad, and everybody seems so mean and cruel. I mean, on purpose. And I just don't think I don't I don't think that's what kids need. Uh, I think kids need some fun, and I, I think they need to understand that treating other people the way you'd like to be treated is the, is the best way.
to be a grown-up. It's the best way to be a kid. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to create a show that has amazing magic tricks. It's fun to watch, but has a little bit of a a little bit of a message that's uh, lying dormant, uh, sort of wrapped, wrapped inside.